Governor Yaya apologizes to Christians in Gombe. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Gombe State Governor Mohamed Yaya on Saturday apologized to Christian faithfuls in the state. The governor, who did not state what he was apologizing for, exactly said as human beings were capable of erring, he thought it imperative to apologize and seek a fresh start. He made the plea during an interactive meeting organized by Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, Gombe State Chapter, and held at the Banquet Hall, Government House. Our correspondent reports that there are other visuals, letters circulated in public space, suggesting that a governor is a hate of the faith, urgent faithful to abandon him on March 11, 2023. However, some of the grouses against the administration include selection of Mai Tengu Stu, confirmation of Beatrice Ili as chief judge, amongst others. The governor reiterated that elections should be devoid of sentiment. Rather, it should be, ach- ach- be achievement-based and infrastructural development that has direct impact to the people as a guiding consideration. He equally apologized to the Christian community for any wrongdoing done to them and promised not to repeat it at the second tenure of his administration if elected into office. According to him, as in every human endeavor, me and this administration must have committed errors. I request the guardian to forgive and chart a new course for continued development of the state. While appreciating the people for giving him their mandate in 2019, and narrated some of his administration achievements to include provision of quality health care facilities, educational upliftment, road infrastructure, and above all, peace and security that are prevalent in the state and others. The governor noted that at the assumption of office in 2019, he inherited accumulated huge debt, huge debt rather, and decayed infrastructure across all sectors which necessitated his administration to take drastic measures towards addressing them within the first term. He also called on the Christian community to vote him again for sustainability of development of a state. He used the occasion to encourage the electorate to come out and mass to vote for the all-progressive Congress candidates in the forthcoming elections to align the state with the government at the center in view of the inherent advantages contained therein. Earlier, the Director General APC Campaign Organization, Zubar Omar, said the interactive meeting was informed by the need to offer clarifications on certain misconceptions and perceptions about the state governor and the administration and appeal to the gathering to be honest in their contributions. On his part, the Secretary to the State Government, Professor Ibrahim Injodi, appreciated the Christian community for turning out the numbers for the meeting and admonished them to disregard all forms of negative audiovisual messages driven by sentiments going round the middle space. Also speaking, the Northeast Khan Chairman, Reverend Abere Kala, commended the foresight of the governor for convening the meeting as well as his frankness while addressing perceived mis- misconceptions and also asking for forgiveness of the Christian community for any wrongdoing either by him or his administration policies and programs. The Christian community at the end of the interactive meeting unanimously agreed to forgive the governor and pledged to work assiduously towards the re-election bid of a second bid of a governor for a second term. Now, <laughs> hey, these people never since to amaze me. Kai! So all of a sudden, he now feels remorse for a year. Uh-huh. He now has humanity in him. Anyway, I don't know so much about Gombe State, but I want, I, I, how far Gombe people make gonna give us updates? How has this governor been? Eh? Is he the type of governor that he has really worked for you people? Has he really lived up to expectations? Or is he lacking behind? Because we are retiring every governor. No matter how, when I use vote for him before, maybe in a fight for him, in a vote for him, you know, do well. I bet anybody you know do well, make an addition at the back door. There is nothing like, eh, let me continue. Let me continue. No, 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 no. No. That is how we are going to get it right. We are not going to be wasting any time in showing everybody the door when the person does not do well. So, go back, people, how far? How does man treat her? He treats her well. Him coming out to apologize, I don't know. <laughs> he says a lot, sha. Yes, he says a lot. Huh. That is how they behave. After winning, they'll come back and saw the very people that they've apologized. Don't mind these people. Don't mind these politicians. Huh. Okay, the next Christian meeting in the States will be held after the election. By then, your apology will be tabled before the leaders. For now, all hands on deck to reward politicians for their deeds and misdeeds during the gubernatorial House of Assembly. Okay, during the gubernatorial elections and House of Assembly elections. And they tell you, sincerely, all this one is doing now is um, uh, medicine, uh, medicine after death. 
just like if you're a student and you want to you want to be the best you know you want to be the best performing student in your department you want to have an excellent result you want to go home with an a plus you know the best graduating student i beg you have to start from the very first day you start from the very first day so same thing if you want to be a governor an achiever of a governor a governor that achieves a governor that works for his people a governor that does the right thing it all begins with your first day in office it all begins with how you be you know and the thing is, imagine you. That's why I keep saying that somebody who ordinarily is not a performer in life, the person is not going to become a performer in government. That is it. If you are not self-disciplined to work, if you are not self-disciplined to do what you're supposed to do, if you are, you don't know how to motivate yourself to do the right thing, I tell you, even if they put you for a position, you will be say, money, you go still mess up. That is just it. All right. Because the election are fast approaching, God will certainly turn the table around all the agenda of you guys trying to trying to Islamize Nigeria will fail woefully in Jesus' name. So apologies not accepted. You people think you're smart. We need to teach you people a lesson so the living can learn. March eleven is payback. And this is how it is supposed to be. People are supposed to be paid back in their own coin. Any governor will be say he know they perform more making a do is in flush her out. I'm telling you, flush her, make her no look whether he they beg or you know they beg, make him flush the person out. Ha. If only a lot of Christians in the election should be divided of sentiments, rather, it should be achievement based and infrastructural development. Exactly. That is why I keep saying if this man don't work for him, you know, you know, go still talk with him, go vote from. But if this man never work for now, and he come to tell this super story, then I know how best to handle this, this situation. Okay, it should be achievement-based and infrastructural development that has direct impact to the people. That was how they almost handed Nigeria over to a man who took security advice from a madman at Opal Waker for eight years and looted state trails, family company, and offshore share of companies. Why would the church learn their lessons? What are you saying? <laughs> See, I will forever prefer somebody who is actually taking advice from everybody because it means he will listen to everybody. Take away the ones that are not, you know, okay. And implement the ones that are good. Moving on. Your apology will be acknowledged after the governorship election. <laughs> oh, wow. No achievement, no infrastructure development. And I'm shocked to the my marrow why these do things the people should vote him. Gombe people, don't be deceived though. If these dudes win, see people are in hot soup. His apology is tied to the fear of losing this election due to what he witnessed during the presidential and national assembly elections. Voting mass. Go by people. I know it's not this smart. Make on a do it in make on a vote in a conscience. Hmm? Repay everybody. If anybody don't misbehave, repay that person in own coin this coming election. Alright, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.